back with the host of the Amanpour Hour, Christian Amanpour. Are the events in Israel and Gaza and elsewhere in the world, but right now that is, that is the spot that's being reported on the most, is that taking the attention off of Ukraine? I, I think it is, sadly, to a, to a huge extent. And it's also, you know, yes, it's taking the attention off, which means people are not as you know, focused on it as they were before. And if you remember, majorities of people, certainly in the Western world, in the Western democracies, in America and elsewhere, were very behind pushing Putin out. And now things are getting more foggy. Mm -hmm. And as you have the, uh, the Congress refusing to send life-saving weapons, le weapons for their defense, uh, you know, they are literally, literally in a very, very, very precarious position. And their president Zelensky, who I don't know whether you've interviewed him, you've interviewed a lot of presidents. No, not this uh, one. Well, he's a really interesting guy, speaks great English now. He says, I can tell you that we will lose this war if we don't get the weapons. And for me, it's a tragedy because they are fighting our war. There's no Western boots on the ground. America's not sending its, you know, women and men. We are not in the West. And they are fighting a war to defend democracy in Europe. And it's a huge big deal. And the fact that these weapons are not getting there is very significantly awful. One of the things I... One of the things I enjoy and admire about your reporting is, well, it's one, it's one, there's one thing I enjoy is the two things. One is that you, you explain, cover many tragedies, terrible conflicts around the world, but you don't despair, mm -hmm. or at least you don't broadcast that despair to the rest of us. And you also perceive things in great complexity and explain the complexity of mm -hmm. things. People want black and white. Yes. They want, you know, good guy, bad yes. guy. How do you maintain uh, your broad view of the complexity of a story? What, what, what allows you to do that? Well, look, I think particularly in this current war, people want black and white and can't see or tolerate nuance within the different communities. There's a nuanced views even within the Jewish community, whether it's here or in Israel or around the world. There are new, nuanced views within the Arab-Palestinian uh, community, and you have to be able to to reach those. So I try to bring all those views onto my show and try to bring people together who want to talk to each other still despite this horror, who want to go towards peace, who want to have a conversation and not be shut down and canceled. That gives, that's what gives me the hope and stops me despairing. But I can tell you that it's been a long time since I felt this bleak and this sad about what's going on, because I think we have a crisis of leadership. And I think without really strong, robust leadership, these two uh, entities right now that are locked in mortal combat will never be able to pull, pull themselves away. And this is going to continue over and over again, unless there is a grown up, joined up political solution. And where did I learn this? I learned it really probably from my own childhood without even knowing. My father's Iranian Muslim. My mother is English Catholic. Um, they're no longer here. But nonetheless, I grew up believing and knowing and seeing that everything doesn't have to be a zero sum game that you know you can have all sorts of great relationships within and between communities and i've just taken that into my work and that keeps me going thank you Christina. the amanpour hour airs saturdays on cnn christian amanpour everybody we'll be right back with ncis's wilmer valderrama